I will uh, talk to you about the International Helmet Awareness Day um, that is occurring every September, um, I believe the 14th and 15th. Um, it is a very important day if you are a rider. Um, obviously, the helmet is very, very, very important. It's uh, one of the most important pieces of your gear. Um, and uh, on Helmet uh, Awareness Day, there are a lot of sales out there. So if you need a new helmet, I encourage you to go um, and look around the web here and find um, yourself a new helmet. Um, so for helmets, there's a few safety tips. So first of all, if you had already a helmet, um, it has to be within uh, four years. Four years is as long as you can keep a helmet, just to keep the like the maximum effects efficiency of the helmet. So you want to make sure you replace your helmet every four years. Um, and also after every fall, every major fall. Just because you fell and then the helmet doesn't look damaged, it doesn't mean that it isn't. So sometimes the styrofoam or the, the components inside might be warped and that's not gonna protect you any better um, than not riding with a helmet. So you really, really wanna make sure that you change your helmet or you, um, you buy a new one if ever you had a major fall. I know that cap. Uh, I know that um, cask and Sam Shield offer programs to kind of evaluate your helmet. So if you had um, a major fall, you can always send it back to Sam Shield or ca uh, cask, and they will do a little helmet helmet evaluation and just tell you if you need it to replace, if they can uh, repair it, and things like that. So that's always a good thing. Uh, when it comes to fall, 90% of the fall uh, occur once the rider is actually at the walk. It's not at the trot, it's not over an obstacle, it's really at the walk just because the rider is more relaxed, it's not paying attention at the, to the horse as much anymore. So um, these, these fall do occur uh, very, very frequently. So you want to make sure that um, you are cautious out there and that you get yourself a proper helmet. For parents out there, there are helmets that are, I think, just below $100 all the way up to over 1000 depending on the brand, depending on the style, depending on what's on it. But what's most important is that every single one of those helmets will protect your kid's head um, against an injury. So you want to make sure that they are ASMI, um, ASMI, I think, certified or internationally certified for the fall, and they are also, um, also made for riding. It's not a biking helmet that you need, it's not a ski helmet that you need, or motorcycle helmet, you really need a, high, a riding helmet, um, just because they're designed to uh, basically for the fall from a horse, not from falling down a hill on ski or things like that. So you really want to make sure that it is a helmet that is made for riding. So these are my tips and tricks to uh, keep your head really healthy um, and to buy the proper helmet. Um, I also s strongly suggest that if you um, are new to the equestrian world and the equestrian sport and you want a helmet, I encourage you to go to your local tax store and, and uh, try on the helmets. Really, really important that the fit is good. Um, just because that's how it's going to protect your head the most. So you want to measure your head and make sure the helmet fits. Try your hair in different kind of position. Make sure that it fits properly. If you have your hair braided, for example, or in a ponytail, you want to try the helmet with the ponytail or the braid in to make sure that it actually fits your head. Um, if you are showing, usually you have to wear um, a little hairnet, so you can try your helmet with a hairnet, but you really want to make sure that the fit is optimal um, to avoid any kind of concussions or things like that that can occur um, while riding. So uh, once again, helmet awareness, uh, International Helmet Awareness Day um, on September 14th and 15th. Um, Fallon Taylor, which is a barrel racer in the United States, very, very popular because um, she is uh, an advocate for wearing a helmet in the, the uh, Western equestrian sports. Um, usually they tend to wear just a hat, but she is very, very pushing to um, get the helmet uh, in the game. Um, I believe that in a few of her videos, like videos in the past that she's been laughed at or people were trying to, you know, bring her down because she had a helmet um, and she stood up for it just because she had a major fall and I think she cracked her neck or, and her, uh, neck or something like that. So she had a ma major fall and that's why she is a 
promoting the Helmet Awareness Day as well. Um, she partnered with the brand Troxel and she makes wonderful helmet. I own one myself, the one that's uh, Leopard print is her, one of her um, helmet from her line. Um, she has really cool designs for all, all ages, for kids, adults. So I invite you to um, go check the Troxel website and look for the Fallon Taylor collection if ever you're into these kind of things. Um, but if, you're, if you just want a, a regular helmet, that's fine too. So without further ado, I just want to show you my new helmet. So it's going to be oop, this way. It's, it is the Cap Italia here, as you can see, Cap Italia helmet. Um, and I customized this bag, so stay tuned because I put a DIY how to customize the bag uh, just because it came with uh, like just plain gray and I just wanted a bit more sparkle, so I did this customization. Um, so yeah, so this is a great brand, um, made in Italy. Uh, really really nice helmets they are you can personalize them in I don't know how many combination there's just so many um, so I will show you this helmet here so there you go so this is what the helmet looks like so this is the front and this is the back and you can customize this panel this panel the side you can choose different colors um, the brim here is a bit flexible, like I don't know if I can show it, but it's a bit flexible. Um, and then you can customize the frame here, you can customize the grid, the button, the logo, like you, you really have a lot of things you can customize. I think you can even customize this, the visor and the leather straps and everything. So this is more of a higher end helmet, you won't find it at $200, it's, it's a bit more pricey than that. Um, they do make a collection that's a little bit cheaper for kids um, and uh, to try to kind of appeal to that crowd as well. But as soon as you start customizing, that's when the costs go up. So the thing that I really like about this helmet is first of all, it's the shape here. Um, it, does fit my head really really well it's made a bit more oval than most helmets um, not everybody has a round head so um, you really want to have like like I said you really want to have a perfect fit if you can um, so this helmet here really helps to kind of complement my head um, the lining inside is fully washable like you can totally remove this lining here there's a few um, let me open it there's a few scratch as you call it or velcro inside and you can just pull that out if I can. So you can just wash this whole liner here. Very easy to put on. And as you can see, it's just two little clips that you put in the front and a nice little padding at the back here. And all of this is washable. And what I what I really like about is uh, about it is definitely the the fact that it's washable like my first helmet was a Charles Owen helmet um, it was really great like it worked great for me but the thing is I was getting really really hot and sweaty in there there was no ventilation whatsoever in the helmet and you couldn't wash the lining the lining was not coming off so that's something that you might want to look into if you are a parent um, just to make sure that you can remove the lining just because it makes it so much easier um, these helmet tends to Re, like you retain a lot of sweat and then sweat comes with a lot of smell as well so you want to make sure that your helmet um, are clean and stay clean and don't get smelly and things like that so it's just gonna help kind of um, keep the helmet in a good state of uh, condition basically for longer um, so there you go so here you have all their certification if you can see the stickers so these are certified internationally so this, these helmets should be, uh, you should be able to compete with these helmets like all around the world. Um, they are certified, they got the maximum certification for helmets, uh, riding helmets. So that's why also I took this brand just because um, it is definitely uh, well made. It's made for riding and it is um, internationally certified. So this is always great. The other kind of feature that there is on there, so as long as you can see, there's a little bit of ventilation here. But the component that really sold me to this helmet is this actual little button here. So if you, I move it down, as you can see, it's now closed. So the grid is going to change. If I put it in the up position, you can see the airflow is going to be way better. So 
you can close it let's say on a cold day or you know something that's not too sweaty or whatever and then if you need more ventilation or aeration you can just uh, push up the button and you're gonna have all these um, little vent that's gonna open and it's gonna let you um, have maximum airflow in the helmet and why is uh, airflow really important in a helmet is just because like I said you do sweat a lot with the helmet on um, so it's really important to have a good hair airflow to make sure that um, you are not sweaty first and then that you're comfortable for your ride right so that's what it is so it's a nice cute helmet um, like I said, thousands of combination. You can definitely go on their website and try to customize, make your own type of thing. They do have a little um, widget that you can uh, try and make your own custom uh, helmet and see how it looks like. Um, I know the brand Cask as well do have like a helmet configurator, I think they call it, um, where you can pick different design and then make your own. Same thing for Sam Shield, um, they do have the same kind of helmet um, kind of customization option that you can do on the website and that's going to show you the price of the helmet in real time. So of course the less customization the lower the price is going to be. Um, the higher the customization the higher the price is going to be so that's how it works. Uh, but at the end of the day would it be like a sparkly helmet or a matte helmet for as long as you wear a helmet and you're safe during your rides that's really all that matters. So. Once again, I encourage you to go around and shop for a new helmet. Um, make sure that you know it fits you, that it is certified for you, and it is obviously a riding helmet, just in case you have a fall. We we'll never know exactly when we're gonna fall, so it's always good to stay protected. Um, for the parents out there, you don't need to break the bank to have an actual helmet that fits your children, your child's head. You just want to make sure that you know maybe the liner. Um, that would it be removable might be a good feature for you guys but if not um, you know for as long as the kids head is protected depending on how much they ride every week and everything you might be able to keep it in a nice state um, even though the liner is not removable so yeah this is it for my cap helmet um, and uh, helmet awareness day I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new uh, please double check your helmet you know if you've been over four years it's due to be renewed um, just to stay safe out there and avoid you know any loss of the the actual feature of the helmet so you want to make sure that it is safe so once again I wish you a really really good week and I will see you next time bye